Hello everyone, um, my name is Thomas and uh, welcome on my GoFundMe page or welcome on my YouTube channel depending on where you are. Um, this video is about helping people. This video is about my idea of giving people in the flood region of the Ahr Valley, Ahrweiler, Kreuzberg, um, but Neuen Ahr in that region, giving some of those people that have lost everything, including their cars, not just money to buy food because there's plenty of places to get that um, or donate that. There's a lot of places to donate things to the point where those already ran out of place to keep things and store things. So I decided or thought of the idea and a bunch of my friends seem to like it. Why not give people cars? Um, you, were, you might be wondering what well, people need other things than cars right now. And you're right, people do need other things than cars but people also will eventually need a car again to get to school, to work, kids to school, um, to the doctor, wherever, go shopping in those remote places where everything has been destroyed or next to everything. But not everything is gone. There's still people in houses and people are living there still, trying to. And um, it's going to take a little bit to do this um, anyway, so I hope by that point in time um, that at least basic infrastructure is back alive. And um, yes, a lot of people will get their cars replaced by insurance, but there's also going to be a lot of people that don't have that insurance. Um, here in Germany, that's called a Teilkasko, which uh, takes care of damage like um, flood damage, um, and heavy rains, you know, stuff related to what happened there. Um, that kind of um, insurance is not super expensive in most cases, but it's also quite redundant in most cases because and old cars, a lot of people just go for the basic insurance that you need, liability, and um, that's perfectly fine. Because you don't really expect um, a little river that is like up to my knees on a good day suddenly to be like six, seven, eight, nine meters high and literally just wash away your town and your livelihood, um, let alone your car. So we decided we, are not, we can't give people brand new cars, we can't give everybody a car, but we decided we can find cheap cars that have a year or so TÜV left, maybe a fresh TÜV, that have um, maybe no TÜV but are cheap enough to, to be worth fixing up. Um, things where a 200 euro car, 300 euro car that needs parts worth 50 bucks but labor worth two, three, four, five hundred euros. Nobody's gonna do that. That's why a lot of these cars go export or scrapyard. And, um, I think a lot of these cars have a chance to just with a little bit of effort put into them and a few parts to give somebody more or less trouble-free, hopefully ideally trouble-free transportation for let's say just an, a year. Get them through the winter, get them into 2022 where hopefully they have their life sorted again and they can go back to actually looking for cars and add cars that they want, they can afford that is within the budget and they have time to do that, you know, because I don't know if you, when you, when, when you were last looking at cars or trying to buy a car, it takes time, it takes effort, it's, it takes patience. Um, it's not a five minute job, let's, let's just go and buy a car, unless you actually go to a dealer with a pile of cash in your hand and you just pick a car on the lot. But that's not how people usually buy cars, especially not people in a situation like that. So my plan is to find cheap cars, couple hundred euros, fix them up to the point where I would trust the car to survive the year at least and then get them up there and give them to people. Um, who am I going to give them to? Good question. Uh, I have friends in the area. Um, I have friends that are deeply um, rooted in the community in the area who also lost a, um, a lot of things if not everything. Um, but I know that they know who needs things the most. They know their village, they know their towns, they know their people, their friends, their environment. That would be my start. Um, and then if that doesn't work or if that is questionable, there's always um, going through the official means, um, Red Cross or whatever. There's going to be people that need cars that can show that they lost what they had and that they are not going to get it back because they don't have the matching insurance. It's pretty easy to prove. So people are still going to have to pay insurances and road tax on that and fuel and whatnot. But well, if they have a car right now or had a car until last week, um, they would have to pay that anyway. 
So I'm not too concerned about that. That's a fixed cost that they had anyway. So they are probably going to be able to sustain that going onwards. If they are able to sustain a life where they need a car, I think that's not going to be a problem. The biggest problem is going to be getting those cars out there because I'm about three and a half hours away. Um, but I'm also already looking into um, uh, cooperating with uh, local shops or garages that have um, temporary plates that can be used to transfer those cars. And then it's just, again, just a matter of time and effort. It's going to take a lot of time to find cars, fix cars, and get the cars out there. But um, I figured it's worth it. So that's what I'm going to try. So my question is, do you think it's a good idea? And if yes, feel free to go to the GoFundMe and um, donate. We already, at this point of making the video, we are already sitting at about 2,000 euros, I think. So if you think this is a good thing and you want to participate, feel free to donate. And every euro will count in one way or another. And if there's any leftover money, it'll just go to a local charity um, that will definitely give the money to the people there on site in need. Other than that, I hope we get some cars out of it. I have no goal. It's going to be any car is going to be a win for me. If we get one car done and given to somebody who needs it really desperately, I'm happy. Is it going to be two, three, five cars? Don't know, don't care. The more the better, but I'll, I'm happy with one or more, obviously. And I hope to be starting to work on a car next week. It's Sunday right now. And um, yeah, we'll see how quick we can get cars up there and get them to people. And hopefully help as many people as we can, even if it's just one or two or three. I will keep everybody posted about the cars I buy for this project, for this purpose. And um, I will obviously keep proper um, spreadsheet and everything for the finances, what money goes into what. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. And um, thank you to everybody who already donated. And thank you to everybody who will donate. So yeah. if you have any further questions, comments, just comment down below. Um, and Okay, guys, um, I need to actually already, um, I'm editing, editing the video right now. Um, I already need to give a little update, or I want to give a little update, because I just stopped by a car dealership to look at a car for somebody else um, for uh, that also lost his car in that flood, but has insurance, it's just going to be replaced by a different car. And um, it's a dealership I had been before because we bought the now lost car there too. And they seemed pretty nice. And um, yeah, so I went back there. And we ended up talking about this project of giving cars to people. And the dealer actually offered to give me cheap cars on their lot at um, as however cheap he can make them to the point where he doesn't make any profit and the cars are freshly tiffed. And um, he also has some cars that aren't for sale right now because they have some problems that he would have to fix. And uh, he is willing to cooperate with me on that. And um, I'm gonna go back there tomorrow and talk details. Right now he has four cars in mind um, that are gonna be possibly like price cut in half or something. I don't know, he hasn't mentioned any numbers, but the cars are already cheap. And all the cars have fresh turf usually on the lot and they run and drive. Um, and uh, yeah, he loves the idea and he wants to help. So he has four cars on the lot that he's thinking about right now. He also has a privately um, a car for sale right now that uh, he offered me either as is to, for a good price or um, because it needs something for turf and needs new turf, but he knows exactly, exactly what. And he would be willing to sell it to the point where nobody makes any money just so it's not um, given away, basically. Um, yeah, um, that has me quite excited, but that also means I actually need to find more funding because he also said he would be willing to um, talk to the other dealers around. And uh, his uncle apparently has a dealership and to other just, you know, they're car dealers. They know each other. And he said, if I, if I can find a, big, a bigger budget, he can find me more cars to get for cheap and to fix and to give to people. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to go there tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can get the first couple of cars, maybe. Um, 
I also found another car that was just regular for sale and I contacted the seller um, was just asking about this general situation of the car and when I told him what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with it um, he immediately dropped the price from 500 euros to 350 euros and that's for a car with a nine month of diff and running driving fine um, which is probably also gonna be one of the first cars I'm gonna buy um, assuming I have all the funding for it <laughs> right now it seems like people are willing to help to the point where I could buy more cars and give them away than I can afford right now. So yeah, again, um, thank you to everybody who already donated and thank you to everybody who is going to donate. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep everybody posted and I'm gonna post updates in the description of the GoFundMe. I'm gonna post update videos on my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, let's see where we can go with this.